today I'm going to share with you how to cook bok choy. This is a really delicious cruciferous leafy green vegetable that is really common in Asian stir fries. So I'm going to just show you how I would saute this in my cast iron wok on the stove. So let's get started. So this is baby bok choy that I purchased at Trader Joe's. We're simply going to just take this out of the bag, look at it, make sure that there's no funky parts. This is what bok choy looks like. It's got kind of a hard stem, so we're going to cut that part off. And then we're going to transfer these leaves to my washing bowl, give them a quick rinse, and then we'll saute them with a little olive oil, a little ginger powder, and a little soy sauce. Okay, so I'm going to use my Wusthof serrated knife and I'm just going to use the claw hand shape like this. You never chop with your fingers like this. You always curve them in so that you don't chop off your fingernails. And I'm going to hold the bok choy like this. Then I'm just going to cut off the bottom half of the bok choy. You can discard this or maybe use it for stock or something else. This is what the bok choy looks like when you separate it. It's got nice dark leaves at the top and a pretty fibrous bottom part. So since this is baby bok choy, you don't really have to do much chopping of this. You can actually even leave some of these whole, but if you were using large bok choy, which can get very big, you're gonna wanna cut that into sections. Okay, so let's do the next one. And see how dirt gets easily trapped inside of those little crevices there? That's why we're gonna give this a good wash. Okay, let's take this over to my washing bowl. Okay, my quick and easy way to wash vegetables is using grapefruit seed extract. This is a edible um, grapefruit seed extract concentrate that I, you can purchase on Amazon. I'll share a link in the description below. I basically use about 10 drops in a mixing bowl like this. And then I pour water in. And then I put my vegetables into that mixture and just kind of toss it around. And you can give it a rinse afterwards, but you don't even have to because the grapefruit seed extract is edible. So you just want to toss them around. You can even let it soak for a minute or two, but it's not necessary. And the grapefruit seed extract seems to just really get any residue off pretty quickly and easily. Okay, and that's it. Okay, now we're gonna cook our baby bok choy. We're gonna use this cast iron wok. This is great for cooking on the stove. You really do want to have a gas stove to use a wok like this because the heat will actually come up and around the bottom of the wok, which is why the wok was designed like that, for the heat to come up and over. If you have an electric stove, I honestly would not recommend using a wok. You can just use a flat skillet as well, but I did want to show you how I use my wonderful little cast iron wok. I'll include a link in the description below for where I purchased these. You're gonna also need some wok utensils. You basically need two utensils to cook in a wok because you're gonna be doing a motion like this. Instead of what you would do in just like a flat pan, you would just need one utensil. For a wok, you're gonna want two utensils like that. Then for seasoning the bok choy, I'm just gonna use a little bit of tamari. This is basically soy sauce, but it is made a little bit differently. It does contain wheat, Oh, actually, no, this one is gluten-free. So sometimes they make it gluten-free now. But this has like a more of a maple, like a caramelized flavor than soy sauce. Soy sauce is a little watery and more salty. So I do prefer to use tamari, but you can use soy sauce. And then this is just a little bit of ginger powder. I'm gonna use about a half teaspoon to season this batch of bok choy. So let's get cooking. Okay, first I'm gonna turn the heat on high because I wanna heat this wok up really nicely. 
Now you can use a little bit of olive oil to cook your bok choy, but you don't have to. So today I'm gonna not use any oil just to show you how to do this oil free. If you wanted to use olive oil or sesame oil, I would use maybe about one to two teaspoons for this portion of baby bok choy. All right, so we're just gonna, once our wok is nice and hot, we're just gonna place this in here. There's a lot of moisture in the bok choy, so that's gonna almost steam the bok choy and kind of keep it, uh, get it to be wilted as it's cooking. So we're just gonna let it sit in there. This will take probably a total of five to seven minutes for this whole cooking of the bok choy. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, the bok choy is nice and hot in the pan. We're just gonna take two utensils like this and stir it around. We're gonna let it braise in its own liquid inside of the wok. The wok is great because the moisture accumulates at the bottom and what, all you have to do is stir the vegetables around and then I kind of press them against the sides of the wok so that they can cook against that hot surface and then toss them around every minute or two. All right, here's what the bok choy looks like inside of the wok. Okay, the bok choy is starting to get a little bit browned and a little bit dry. So what we're gonna do next is add some soy sauce and ginger into the pot and stir that around and our bok choy will be cooked. That's a half teaspoon of ginger and one and a half teaspoons of tamari or soy sauce. Then you're just gonna stir it all around. You can add a little bit of water if it starts to cook too much. But at this point, our bok choy is cooked. And I'll show you what it looks like on a plate. bok choy looks like after it's done cooking. This has just about a half teaspoon of ginger powder and one and a half teaspoons of tamari on top. And that's it. This is oil free and delicious. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. This would be really good over rice. And tofu. Mm. All right, I hope you enjoyed.